first, before we play, let's um let's open some of these packs, yeah? Let's see what we get. Let's see. Alright, mythic. Nice, nice. How many mythics do I have? I have 18 mythics. Wait. Yeah, 18. Disruptor flute, okay. 54 packs. Should I just open them all at once? Spy Master's Vault. Alright, that's a cool land. Hold on. Okay, we gotta do some drafting. So that I can <laughs> earn that stupid oval mob because I'm a huge sucker and I'm a victim for marketing. <laughs> Ooh, Crab Bomination. I love that name. Sapphire Medallion. Blue spells cost one less to cast and it costs two. Nice. YOLO! Spaggins! Dream tied well. I don't know why. I feel like it's not as fun. Why is this one glowing? Oh, a Johnny! It's not perfect. A Johnny! I don't know why, but I am not an Ajani fan. Give me an Eldrazi! Come on! Eldrazi Linebreaker? Nice, nice. Um, he's got Trample and Devoid. And, um... At the beginning of your combat... You know, one thing that I don't like about some Eldrazi cards? Lots of Eldrazi is... Um, lots of Eldrazi's don't have eyes, right? Because they come from the blind eternities. <laughs> Ooh, Ruby Medallion. Nice, nice. I like these. These are cool. Okay. Hello, parasocial pal. Whoa. Corrupted S Shapeshifter. That is such a cool looking card. That would suck. If you were a shapeshifter to get corrupted by the Eldrazi's, that's... Nightmare fuel. The game is still set to Soul Mask. Ah! Thank you, thank you. I thought I switched it. Apparently I didn't hit enter. Magic. The Gathering. I'm surprised there's not more people streaming it since this just came out. Okay, should be set back to the right one now. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, what do we got here? We got cards. I got this card in real life too. In the pre-release box. Big money! A Johnny! Hold on, I'm gonna move. I'm just gonna move my camera over here, but maybe not. Maybe I'll leave it. Finish. Ah, darn you. So what's the best card you have right now? Uh, in real life? I don't know. Uh, hold on. Let me go grab my cards so that I can show you. DBZ is life. Hold on, let me go grab my cards so I can show you. I've got this... Whoa, right here. Hold on, maybe I can make my camera a little bigger. Yeah, so... I've got this, but here are my... Here's my magic card collection. So these are my cards. And... Here's all of my Eldrazi. So I've got this Ulamog here. The Ceaseless Hunger. Wait, so you can see it. And then I've got three Emrakuls here. And then... <laughs> okay, so this... I have Emerald, I have Ulamog in every single language. So, let me see if I can show you. Oh yeah, don't make it weird because then you can't see it backwards, huh? Wait. What do they do? This card? So, he's my favorite card. I actually like the Infinite Gyre more. So, this one's actually my favorite version of it. 
This one is like a mill card, so it makes you discard like 20, is it 25 cards or 20 cards? Man, that's the Spanish one. I can't read Spanish. Um, it says, whenever it will mock attacks, defending player exiles the top 20 cards of his library. So yeah, um, I have it like, like I said, in like every language. So I've got English. Okay, this is English non-foil. This one's English foil. This one, I think is Italian. This one is Spanish, maybe? This one is definitely Japanese. This one's Japanese. This one's Russian. This one is some other language I don't know. Like French, maybe? It's a European language, I just don't know it. And then, let's see. This one's German, right here. This one's Korean. And then this one's Chinese. So yeah. Those are all my Ulamogs. I've got like three pages. Well, so this is my Emrakul. This is one one Ulamog. Three Emrakuls. And then over here I've got eight Emrakul. Or sorry, eight Ulamogs. And then three more Ulamogs. And one Kozilex. Because who likes Kozilex? Nobody. Nobody likes Kozilex. And then here's some random cards I have like little Sheba card. I got a Mana Crypt. I pulled that. Um, are they worth a lot? They're probably not worth a lot anymore, but they used to be worth a lot. They used to be like maybe $80 per card, so each one of these was like $80. I don't know what they're worth anymore, especially since they literally just reprinted them. Or actually, no, the ones in Modern Horizons are different. They don't do the same thing. They're a little different. Yeah, and then... What else do I have in here? Just random cards. These are some of my favorite cards. Nothing super special. And over here. Yeah, that's it. I don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh cards, just magic cards. But yeah, that's my little collection. I literally only... And then this one right here is called Ulalek. Which, wait, hold on. Was that not the same one as this one? Oh, no, it's different. Okay, yeah. Ulamog looks a little different. This is what he looks like. <laughs> Why are you hiding a black lotus? No, I don't... I almost... Uh, I almost bought a Power 9 once. So, I think I told you guys this story before a long time ago. Um, but when I first started working for Amazon, they paid me in Amazon gift cards. And I was living in South Korea at the time. So... Um, I couldn't, Amazon, or sorry, Korea doesn't have Amazon. So I was literally saving, like, they were paying me to stream, but they were paying me in Amazon gift cards, and I think I streamed for, like, two years without being able to spend any of my Amazon money, right? Any of my Amazon gift cards. So I saved up, like, I don't know, was something, like, ridiculous. Like, I want to say twenty or $30,000 in U.S. Uh, Amazon gift card dollars. Um... And I really wanted to buy uh, Mox Emerald. I didn't buy Mox Emerald though. I actually upgraded my PC and that's why my PC is really nice. That's why I have a nice PC and nice monitors. It's because I got paid for like two years in a currency I couldn't even spend, which was in gift card dollars. I don't remember why they did it. I think Amazon did it because tax reasons or something. So, they didn't pay me in real money. They just paid me in gift cards for like two years. Yeah, and then that's how I was able to get my nice computer and my monitors and all that, my, my nice microphone and stuff. Literally everything I have that's expensive, I bought with gift card money. <laughs> um, most of it, yeah. Most of it I did get um, on Black Friday sales. Or if it wasn't a Black Friday sale, it would be like the... What's the Prime Day? Amazon Prime Day? Yeah, and because I streamed for Amazon, I always knew when sales were coming, and they would also send me like a, a spreadsheet, like an, ex an Excel file of every sale coming up and every deal, like any big deal that was happening. So I would know months in advance, like all the deals during Cyber Monday and Black Friday, like months in advance. And then I also knew all the deals that were coming out on um, Amazon Prime Day. So yeah, I knew I had like some information that normally people wouldn't have. Let me move this here. 
put that up here and put this here. Perfect. Let's open this. I don't know how it's gonna look. Actually, that's not too bad. Maybe I can move it over a little. I guess I could just make myself smaller. And then have more room for the cards. And then I can just go back to the other scene afterwards. Um, that's insane. Now you have a lot of card sharks that kept them in the nest eggs? And I just lost my nest egg? Wait, what do you mean? Um, so you could buy whatever on sale before they sell out of stock? Yeah! Well, no, I couldn't buy it before they were out of stock. If it ran out of stock, I wouldn't be able to get it. But, I was able to know what the cells were going to be. <laughs> Good night, Aza! Sleep well, sweet dreams! Okay, let's see what we get. Didn't I already get that card? Or maybe I got that card in real life. Man, this is so many. Oh, like a retirement plan. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, it was just... It was because I streamed for them. So, like I said, Korea doesn't have... Korea doesn't have Amazon. And even if Korea did have Amazon, I wouldn't be able to use the USA Amazon gift card money in Korea because it's different currency, you know? So yeah, I pretty much just got gift cards. It was really an interesting... I think I got like 250 a week or something like that is how much gift card money I got. So yeah, for two years, it added up. I don't know, I guess I could do the exact math. Ooh, this is going red. What are we gonna get? I'm excited. Oh, Phyrexian Tower. Hold on. Um, calculator. You're going AFK? Yeah, no problem. So, 250 times... 24. Oh, it's like 6,000. No, I feel like it was more than that. I don't know. Ah, and then they sit on them. Yeah, I wish that I would have bought that. Yeah, I really, I wanted to buy the uh, Mox Emerald. I wanted one of the Power 9. And I didn't buy it. And now it's super expensive, but that's okay. I didn't need it. There we go. I'm trying to make sure that's... Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do that anymore. They only did it to like when Amazon Live was in the beta. It's no longer in beta. Now anyone can stream on Amazon Live. I have gotten this card twice. Re. Okay, let's see what we get. Ooh, this one's going red too. We got another mythic. Kalia. Okay. Isn't that one a really good one? Hold on. Whenever Kalia of the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, and dragon creature card from your hand into the battlefield tapped. Nice. Yeah. She is strong. <laughs> She's pretty. Sewing? My... Cospon? Why can't I English? Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Disruptor flu? I got that one already. Oh, should I turn the music back on? Oh, we got another mythic. Recruit... Recruiter of the Guard. Whenever Recruiter of the Guard enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with toughness two or less. Reveal it and then put it into your hand and shuffle. Okay. Oh, another? Aw, oh, lame. I mean, I can get whatever I want with that, so it's not that lame. But, kinda lame. Mayor Eater. Whoa. Oh, it's going red. Ah, another one. Darn you. Yep, 
Yeah, I put on some random music when my audio wasn't working. So when I started the stream and my audio wasn't working, I put on random music because I was like, just trying to see if you guys could hear any sounds. I was like, can you hear this? And then you guys heard the music before you could hear my voice. And then that's when I figured out the other problem. But yeah, it was like trying to figure out and pinpoint the problem down. The English one? I don't think I've seen it before. Orbs chant? Okay, we should do... Well, I was gonna say we should... Play some games! Oh, it is? When are you playing the pirate game again? Oh, whenever my friends are wanting to play. That is such a pretty art. Orem's chant is evil? I got this one in real life. I got this one as my pre-release card. Sneaky snacker. That's me. That's literally me. Fairy rogue. Sneaky snacker. Oh, this one's got a glowy boy. Ooh. Flame dancer. Ooh. Man, I should do a green red deck again. Those are so fun. We got the corgi! Let's go! What is your cosplay idea? To be a sneaky snacker? <laughs> oh, what? An Eldrazi dragon? Hold up. Where was I when this came out? What set was this from? What is the original set for this card? I don't know what, what or what I... Yeah, I don't know what I've been doing the past... 10 years or 9 years. But what? Eldrazi Dragon? Well, what? No one told me about this. When you cast a spell, you may exile your hand if you do draw 3 cards flying. Um, each creature spell you cast has emerge and emerge cost is equal to its mana. Okay. For you. <laughs> See what we get. We let's go. What? That's ah, beautiful. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Beautiful. Ah. Okay, what's the new one do? When are you f when you cast the spell, gain control of creature target player controls. That's pretty um evil. Okay, flying protection from spells, protection from permanents that were cast this turn. Nice. So we can't get negated. That ah oh, yes, I love it. No no negates today. Well, it also has protection from spells, which is yeah crazy. Can, wait, can squirrels still kill this thing then? So it has protection from spells and protection from permanents that were cast this turn. <laughs> it does. <laughs> When Immercool, the world anew, leaves the battlefield, sacrifice all creatures you control. Madness 6. Wait, what is madness? If you discard this card, discard it into the exile. When you do, cast it for its madness cost. What? That sucks, though. So, when it, when it leaves the battlefield, you have to sacrifice everything you have? Um, I'm not so sure about this, uh, but I do like how... It's Emrakul in front of the moon because she was locked in the mo she was locked in the moon vault for a while. By the way, she's a she supposedly. She's an angel. Um, but uh, yeah, not as good as my boy Emrakul, that's for sure. It is very hard to remove her. That's for sure. Protection from uh, literally. <laughs> What is it? Protection from colors? Skins Labyrinth, let's go! 
Why are there like tons of Aya Ugin looking thingy things? Oh, those are the monument things on Zendikar, huh? Okay, imprint. Uh, Ugin's Labyrinth enters the battlefield. You may exile colorless cards. Oh! You may exile a colorless card with mana value 7 or greater from your hand. Interesting. Just drop by to see what's up. Going to get... Oh! Goodbye! Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Protection from spells. Oh yeah, protection from spells. Not colored spells. I think it's the... Is it the original Emrakul that has protection? I don't even have the uh, Emrakul from the one set. Uh, the revamped Emrakul? I don't even have that one. Um, but Aeon's Torn says this spell can't be countered. When you cast the spell, take an extra turn. Oh man, that was always fun to take an extra turn after your turn. It says it has flying protection from spells that are one or more colors. Ah, oh, right. And then it has Annihilator 6. And whenever you put it into your graveyard, you shuffle it back into your library. This card, this card is so broken. So broken. I feel like the old ones, they just don't make them like they used to. What is this? <laughs> it's, it's the creepiest looking thing I have ever seen. It's kind of cute. It looks like a... Oh, I can't remember. I was going to say Karibo from Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh man, this is my third one! And... oh, let's do the bottom one. Flare of Duplication? What? Excuse me, Flare of dupl Duplication? I did that YouTube video, uh... Where actually I streamed it, yeah. Where I talked about my old, um... Magic the Gathering deck that I would play, my casual deck. And I would... Ha I had a card called... Reverberate. And this one says you may sacrifice a non-red creature rather than play its spell cost. Copy that instant or target sorcery spell. You may choose new targets. So it's kind of like a reverberate, but you may sacrifice a non-token red creature rather than pay its mana spell cost. Huh. Interesting. Emerald Medallion. It's like they're trying to make like fake, uh, like, what do you call it? Like, Mox Emerald and, like, all those. But, like, low, lower, lower status. Not as good. Okay, we got three of those. Nadu. Party Thrasher? That couldn't be me. That's not me. Boom! <laughs> the crab and crab abomination? I love that. Okay, gold. Nice. Last pack. Psychic Frog. Why is this card on so many things? Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, planeswalker, draw a card. Discard a card, put a 1 1 counter on Psychic Frog, exile three cards from your graveyard, Psychic Frog gains flying until end of turn. Okay. Should we do these? Or should we wait? Should we do them? What do you think? What do you guys think? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Psychic Frog does look way good. I... I... Okay. Jeez. Urborg! Man, three mythics? Is this three mythics? Agatha's Soul Cauldron? Alright. What is that symbol? What set is that from? 
Um... Helen the kid. Oh, he's the new dude. Let's go. Human fairy guy. Okay. Railway brawler. Alright, so this is just a mix set. Wilds of- oh, okay, okay, yeah, so... That's interesting. Underground river. I don't even know how to say this guy's name. I need to watch a YouTube video on how to say his name. Realm Scorcher. Nisa? Whoa, what happened to her? Holy cow, I haven't played- I haven't played, uh, Magic the Gathering since... Like, Amonkhet? No, it was like a few sets after Amonkhet. I... I, um... Yeah, I played it- I- I- the last set I really, really, really got into was Amonkhet. And then I always buy Modern Horizon because they always bring back the Eldrazi's all the time. What does that card do? So she's a planeswalker. That's why she looks like that. Um, does she have four arms? And one arm is a staff? Nisa- oh, she got infected? <gasps> she got infected with Phyrexian oil? Whoa. Rest in peace, my lady. That makes sense. Oh, dang. I'm so sorry. <sighs> One of the Jastis League down. Actually, it sounds like all of the members of the Jastis League aren't doing too well, actually. From what I've been hearing. Like, Jace is fighting cowboys or something? I don't know. <laughs> I really need to catch up with the lore again. <laughs> Elish Norn is the new Nicobolus. Wait, so what happened to Nicobolus? Because they didn't defeat him during Amonkhet. D Did they? No, they didn't. He got away again, didn't he? Yeehaw. Elish Norn. Oh, lovely, lovely lady. Nicobolus was defeated in War of the Spark. Oh, War of the Spark was the one right after Amonkhet, wasn't it? Ah. Dang, they defeated... They defeated Nicobolus? Wait, hold up. They actually made Urza a planeswalker? Are you kidding me? Urza's technically... Technically, like, within the Magic the Gathering lore, Urza was the first person to spark. I believe it was Urza. Or was it his brother? No, I'm pretty sure it was Urza. So they actually made him a legit planeswalker. That's so cool. That's just... That's just, like, what do you call that? Um... I love Karn. Carmen Electra. I love him. Um, what was I going to say about this? Oh, that's just cool. It's like a nice Easter egg. This is like a, just a cool Easter egg. Yeah, Karn. Oh, man. Oh, go. Yeah, we got the K-pop looking boy. Let's go. Mirror of the Wilds. Dracosaur. Let's see what else we get here. Uko is gas? Wait, does gas mean good or bad? Because I heard. Okay, you know, like the word gnarly, where some people say gnarly. Like, some people, gnarly is good, and sometimes gnarly means, like, disgusting and bad. And now I have, like, no idea. Okay, gas is good. Okay, now I'm like... Now I have zero idea what it means anymore. I'm just so confused. <laughs> okay, last pack. Do you believe in magic? That was so confusing. I thought he was wearing a pretty prom dress. That was weird. Collector's Cage? Cost 2? Hideaway 5? Ah, oh, I haven't played Blue Red in a long time. Those are really fun to play. Alright. Alright, let's time the time to grind for that Ulamog. <laughs> You've come back at a good time. Modern um, is changing big time with Modern Horizons 3. That's always fun. I always come back during Modern... I always come back during the Horizon set. Like, my very first... Um, my very first ever Ulamog that I got was from Modern Masters, the first Modern Masters. 
Yeah, what doesn't make sense to me is how they changed. Like, I was really confused, so... Are you, are you up to date with the lore? Can you tell me what's going on? Because, like, what doesn't make sense to me is how, or not how, but rather why they changed Ulamog and Emrakul. Like, why didn't they print the same cards? Or, because from my knowledge, uh, Ulamog died. Like, Chandra killed Ulamog back in, like, what was that called? Ri not Rise of the Eldrazi. That was, like, the 2014 set. Uh, what was that set? I can't remember anymore. It was the one where they go back to Zendikar. I don't remember. Oh yeah, they uh... Why did they revamp the uh... The boys? Why did they revamp the Eldrazi's? Like, what is going on with this guy? Who's this man? What set is he from? Like, he's... Is he new to modern? And they didn't add any more lore to him or anything? Dang, how many mythics do I have? I have 21 mythic cards that I can craft. Hold on, let me go back to... Let me go back to here. Yeah, so I have... I can craft 21 <laughs> mythic cards because I've been playing this game kind of on and off casually for the past... since it released, which was like in 2018, I think, in Magic the Gathering Arena released. So I've kind of just been, yeah, just kind of casually collecting all that stuff. This is the one card I don't have, like in real life, of Emrakul. I don't have the promised end. Okay, what are we going to do? So first off, I need to cast red or green spells, cast... 20 black spells. Okay, we need to do all of these today. Or maybe not today. Maybe that's a lot to ask for. Uh, earn wins in standard play rank or events. Can I re-roll this? Goodbye. Bye-bye.